Oh my god, do well, I got shit to tell you guys. Rune boots? Got two of them. This trip right here. Oh, I thought, watch me get three. Anyways, I'm selling to this guy right here for uh, 450k. Um, I'm surprised the price is still quite high. For, what do you run? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised the price is still quite high for these things. And as you see, I am actually using a whip. Uh, recently, uh, James has actually got a second whip drop or so, and he said, like, you know, he's not going to sell them anytime soon, he says. Um, and he just said, hey, you want to borrow one for a little bit because I had no plans on selling it? I told him, sure. I gotta say, whip is not that much better than a DSKB, but obviously, like, it's by far still better to train with. I think it's about 15 strength bonus more or so. So it's kind of like, the way I say it, it's kind of like having a fire cape on and, like, barrel gloves and shit, basically. Uh, but obviously, I'm only training strength right now. Um, I'm gonna pop back up. I, I hate these things because you kind of, like, I came to those tasks, like, four times today. Um, but I needed some money because I bought, like, I bought, like, a lot of prayer pots recently. I think I spent my four mil cash style, cash style, cash, uh, cash, uh, fuck, stack. There we go. And I bought a bunch of cannonballs and prayer pots. I think I bought 300 prayer pots, about 4.5k each. And I bought, I forget, a few more things though. But um, yeah, obviously Slayer pay for all this good shit. But yeah, I've actually decided to keep my own pair of room boots. Because I mean, the way I see it, I have enough cash pile for me to not have to sell that stuff right now. And I can keep my own pair, which is kind of nice. Because they, I mean, they remind me a lot of like, just, I don't know, they just look so sexy and shit. Ooh, second snap. I remember Snapchat was like 40k back in the day on like this type of server, but I'm not sure exactly what they're going to go for now. I mean, I know Snap or um, Raynars are going for about 10 to 12k each for the seeds, uh, which is quite average, I guess, seeing that the herb is like 4 or 5k. So, I mean, like, I guess farming might be quite profitable right now. In fact, I bought my 300 Raynars or my 300 prayer potions from a guy with like magic scepters on. So, I, I assume that he actually probably farmed them. I looked them up. He had like 40 something farming or some shit. So, um, yeah, and 300 of that shit cost me about 1. I think it was 3.35 mil or so. So, that's crazy. Like he farmed 1.35 mil worth of GP, probably from like 150k cash stack or like 200k cash stack. So, that's a lot of money you can make. So if I were you guys, I'd maybe look into doing farming for money because, I mean, I, I imagine it can be quite profitable if you can get uh, Raynars. Um, obviously, if the seed dies, you know, it, it's kind of shitty, but uh, I guess you just fucking run around and make sure they don't die, I guess. Oh, yeah. 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 But anyways, here's my current bank for items. I've got some peapots and that crap, and only got 600k cash left, um, which eh, it's not too bad, I guess. Oh yeah, now I got Gargoyles, shitty Slayer experience, but we got some G-Malls coming up. I want to talk a little bit of a fun topic, I guess I can say it's, uh, I mean, I guess it's a touchy topic, but it's kind of cool. Um, so I still, like, I have friends of my friends that obviously still are playing EOC, and they haven't really uh, played 07 too much. Uh, but I do have some friends that are actually basically making money on 07 right now and selling it for EOC money, because um, they're getting their stats up on, like, 07. Because, I mean, basically on 07... Or, uh, they're getting stats up on EOC, but um, yeah, basically on 07, I mean, like, stats, we don't cost any money on this, right? But on EOC, obviously, there's Herb War, Prayer, all that good shit, right? But yeah, when I start thinking about it, like, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Let's just say, if I get a G Mall drop right now, I can literally sell it for, I believe it's around 100 mil to, like, 150 mil or some crap in EOC, which is, like, like how retarded does that sound? So right now, like, EOC is literally very easy to get, like, a max cash pile. I believe my friend has made around three or four bill from transferring from 07 to EOC, because um, there's so many ways you can make money on 07, and it's like it's worth so much, so I don't really understand how. But yeah, is that frowned upon, or do people just don't really care? I mean, obviously, people care if you transfer to 07, uh, but like, do people care if you, if you ever bother transferring to uh, EOC? Because like, most of the people that watch this right now probably play 07, I'd imagine. I don't really know. Well, actually, I'm not really sure. I know, I know most of my, like, all my subscribers came from EOC, but how many of you guys right now um, are still playing EOC, I guess maybe I'm asking. So if you are still playing it, maybe give me a comment or some crap. I want to see what the percentage is of how many people are actually still playing it. But anyways, once again, I'd like to thank James a lot for uh, lending me the whip. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a little bit quicker, I guess, for getting 85 slayers, so it's kind of nice. Uh, the next video that RuneShark uploads, make sure you guys comment on it like, uh, I don't know, thanks, James, mother bitch. No, 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 that's kind of rude. But anyways, you know, just comment like, you know, hey, thanks for the whip, you big sexy boy. But yeah, I'm not too far from 86 attack, I believe. Yeah, it's about 120k or so. Um, that's actually fucking like five hours or some shit. But anyways, um, so hopefully I'll get that. Like, I might start picking up my PRS. Uh, how many did I get? 35, is it? Oh, I already picked up a different stack. That's why. But yeah, Slayer is actually... What is it? 80k till? Is that... Yeah, around 80k till 82, which is not bad. I know most people do start doing pies. Fuck, which cargo is this? Is this one? 
Okay, I think it's that one. Yeah. And I know most people start doing pies around like 82 or 83 to kill average demons, but for me, honestly, at this point, I mean, even if I were to get a whip drop, I wouldn't sell it at this point. I would keep it until it probably rises. Um, because right now, there's people don't really have a proper amount of cash to offer for a whip. I mean, it, like, it's, it's a good value for sure. Uh, but people don't have too much. I mean, I'm surprised G Malls actually have a good value of a mil. So obviously a whip will be valued like at least five to ten mil, I'm gonna say. But um yeah. Let's go DDS. 17 to Ooh, that's that's pretty nice. Every time I do a DDS spec and I hit high, I'm like, man, if I was PKing, I would have just KO'd someone for like a fucking whip drop or some shit. But yeah, I don't think I'll be pying till uh till uh Abyssal Demons. I think I'll just get 85 and maybe even a bit more. Um, I think after 85 for sure, I'm going to probably camp them for a bit and then start doing my questing. Um, I need to unlock a few things. I need to get barrel gloves. I need to get proselyte armor. Uh, I need to upgrade my gloves. And I'm going to be doing a fire cape probably on live stream, like I said. Um, just have to make sure I make a Twitch account and all that crap because I won't be live streaming on YouTube anymore. Um, I don't think I even have YouTube live stream anymore since I left uh, Machinima like a few months ago or a month ago. Even if I did, I don't think I want to live stream on uh, YouTube. I mean, you can't even play like any music. I mean, I don't know how like Twitch literally allows you to play some music in the background as long as you say the name of it. Um, I mean, you'd think that's normal, but like it, for some odd reason, they don't like YouTube just won't allow, allow that. If that was the case, and like a lot of videos these days would just have a lot of music in them, like, you know, even if it's copyrighted, because like you'd basically be getting permission by just like naming the song. I don't understand why you can't. I mean, I think like if I was to be someone that made, you know, music and stuff, I would love people to use my song in their videos as long as they, you know, name it and stuff. I mean, is that not free advertisement in a way? Like, I, imagine someone's like fucking 4 million views making a video with your song, and like how fucking honored can you be? But yeah, right now I'm actually watching, uh, let's see if you guys can tell what this is, just by, just by looking at that. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can probably tell. It's, uh, Harold and Kumar. Uh, I'm gonna watch the first one, probably watch the second one a little later on today. You guys gotta watch movies. If you, if you plan on no I think you have to watch movies. It's just, like, the only thing to do. Series is obviously better to get into, because once you get into it, then you're, like, you're good for, like, the next 50 hours of Slayer, and you won't have to worry about it. But yeah, hopefully later on today I can get like some type of cannon task. I don't think I've gotten like, I got like one or two cannon tasks today, which was cow fights, which is an amazing task, but I've gotten gargoyles, neck reels, canceled like a million slayer tasks before, it, it sucks. It just makes you appreciate it, though, every single time you get like a nice slayer task with a cannon, you literally appreciate it so much. I mean, I guess it's kind of a good thing, I don't have to waste any cannonballs, which means I can save some cash, but it is slower experience, which is, you know, meh. Now, I believe in this time period, you actually are allowed to go back if you die in the wilderness, pick up your uh, untradeable items, which is like a fire cape, torso, uh, rune defender, stuff like that, which is quite amazing. Now, hopefully, there's not a lot of assholes that, um, I remember back in the day, a lot of assholes would actually, like, barrage you so you can't loot your own shit. That's, like, really low. Like, I think that's just so pathetic that people would do that. I mean, like, just so you don't pick up your fire cape and torso. It's a lot of time waste, and people are just complete assholes. They'll barrage you so you can't, you know, come back to Edgewell and loot it again. Hopefully, we don't have those type of people in this game. Um, and if they do, hopefully, just people just start PJing them the whole time and just get them the hell out of there. I would say those people are probably worse than the PJ. Like, I, I, I prefer to get declaw rushed than to have someone fucking snare or barrage me so I can't pick up my uh, my fire cape and stuff. Like that. That's just horrible. But yeah, PKing should definitely be a lot of fun in the future whenever people have like their max stats and their, uh, well, I guess pure PKing too. I mean, I, I enjoy watching pure PKing, but uh, I enjoy watching like Barrows and uh, Berserker peers because they video spec like crazy hits. And honestly, half the time when you watch pure PKing, they're eating. Like like 90% of the time, actually, they're just, they're eating sharks. High level PKing, it's like DDS specs out the ass and just, it's way better, I think. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here probably and continue watching my movie. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks to James and Simon for the uh, the whip. Uh, Gi uh, Gi Simon's the actual one that gave it to me uh, while James was on his account. But um, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, be ready for the next video coming up probably later on today. Don't give me a random. Better not be on a mystery box or some shit. I hate that crap. Thank you. I can drop your retarded. Who wants to come here and loot my stuff? Anyways, if you watched the whole thing, uh, give it a quick like. And I will see you guys next video.